Hello and welcome to another video from the Fantasy Legion. Uh, Alan Sean back again. And um, this is somebody you've described as your man crush of fantasy this year. I've just heard you. Yes, yeah, you are. I mean, Anthony we're both Golden from, uh, Gandhi. So yeah, we're, both very high, we're both very high on Michael Pittman. So if you haven't seen the video, go have a look at him. But but Golden Gandhi has always been in this draft class that sleeping giant for me. He he's got a lot to like. Um, very similar in some ways to, to Pittman, but there are massive differences. Got great hands, um, uh, fantastic body movement, body contact, controlling, you know, how he clutches the catches. Uh, he's my favourite later round attacking player. This is a player I like to go after, to be honest with you. He boxes out defenders. He's just a massive sleeping giant. There's no wasted time with him. I'm just, I'm very, very high. So, all I need to tell you about him is it's really, really simple. I don't know where he's currently going on. Where is Golden Gandhi going on ADP? He's second round 30, talent. 28, uh, 30, something like that. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. So, right. So, look, if he stays out there at 28 to 30, um, grab some shares of Golden Gandhi and do not look back. He has everything you're looking for in fantasy football. He has the consistent college tape. He has all this, the upside that you want, but not spoken about because there is a very, very deep class. If he'd have come in um, on la last year, he would have been spoken of much higher. If he'd come in next year, he'd have been spoken of much higher. But because he came in this year, he's been dropping down draft boards, which I love. So if you can get some shares of him at cheap price, take him. Now, this is not for redraft. So straight away, you don't even think about it for redraft. It's not worth it. But for Golden Gandhi, a bit like Pittman, these are players that can develop into something a little bit year one, but certainly year two and three. And I would not be surprised that Golden Gandhi ends up being a player we talk about for several years to come very quickly. Very, very, very special. Sneaky, sneaky player. Does a lot of good things. And um, my favourite thing about him personally is I just like the desire to go get that ball. The desire on the field really stands out for me. I mean, he, is, a, he is an athlete. He's six foot four, runs a four six. <laughs> Um, I mean, What's a lot of. It, I mean, he he does look a, a sort of deep threat. I mean, one thing that has. I mean, you said he had good hands, but one thing that is leveled at him, he's got quite a high drop drop rate. So that that is a potential issue with him. He sort of reminds me of an Auden Tate, a, a, a big guy that's probably going to take a bit of time to sort of uh, come to the boil. And you know, you might be waiting a, a, a few years before you. He's going to be a third or fourth. You know. Well, I, I look at the drops. I looked at the drops, and I think the biggest thing that's kind of missed, I mean, when we talk of drops, it's, um, I think one thing that's really, you know, very, when we say drops, the first thing that comes to people's minds is you imagine a person dropping a ball that's in their hands. That's the first thing you imagine. When you, when you look at NFL receivers and somebody says drops, that's also the first thing I imagine. But when you look at his tape, these are contested catches deep. These are situations where the ball is less than 50-50. It's actually odds against him. It's actually more odds that will be turned over which he stops from happening a lot of the time. And he gets counted as a drop against him. The catch radius is whatever's in the circle around you. More often than not, those, those balls are not in those contested catches range. So I don't even count them. So for me, I'm not being negative or naive. <laughs> no, it's fine. Though. He is very, very unique. And I won't be surprised to see a team come into this draft class and go and get this guy, right? He, he could be the kind of player, honestly, Green Bay go and snag. Yeah, he's he's like Claypool. He, Green Bay and him, they could they could be the kind of team they end up going to, and we'll all be looking at them after the draft, going, "Wow, there's a player. He'll fly up the draft board's there, but it'll be too late." It so is, he, but I, like, I think he, he is a player that you know he, he's sort of a raw talent. That I think teams will wait on him, and he, he's going to oh, be like a, a, a yeah. fourth or fifth or sixth round player. Well, I think I think what's missing is you see, I I personally believe, and again, it's just me, so we'll see how this plays out. It's, it's a it's a man crush deep down to the draft board. It's not an early pick. It's one of those we can. Well, that's what we want to hear, though, isn't it? We want to hear the. I mean, anyone can pick the people at one hundred one and one and two. You know, you know, everyone I, knows about them. I would argue that he's not a project, and I'll tell you why. So you look at the route tree running, um, can do it all. Can could play slot if he really wanted to. They can put him in the slot. I'm surprised they haven't. To be honest, he's big, he's huge. That's what you should do with him. Colleges have used him in the deep game. Well, the NFL pros won't do that. Can he do special teams? Yes, he can. Uh, does he run block? Yes, he does. Is he, does he need work on that? Yeah, he does, no doubt. But at least he's trying. Um, there's a lot to like with him. 
And I'm not denying there are some work that's got to happen from a coaching perspective, but you want a player that you can get in your rookie drafts cheap that could do something that you got for a bargain bucket price, particularly in this draft class. This is a guy, you must remember his name, Golden Gandhi. Fabulous. Been talking about him since January the 1st. Not surprised he's dropped down draft boards. Many won't like him. We've had many criticisms, me and you, Al, levelled at us about some of these rookies we've chosen deep down. Well, I remember when you picked Ke- Kenny Golliday, the same sort of thing, and y- you said, you know, this guy, he was going like round four, he's going like pick 50, 60, and then he, you kept saying it, and everyone was going, I don't know what you're seeing in him, and then he, he climbed, and he climbed, and he climbed, and he went in the, the 20s, and now, look at him now, I mean, you know, you, you have got an eye for a player, I think, I think he's a bit raw, I mean, I do prefer other people, but that's, you know, at that stage, at that price, what have you got at that to do? Point, you, yeah. you know, you're not, you're not worried there because you could technically, you could be the end of a second round or early third. It's going to be third round, isn't it? It's going to be third round. Yeah. So you take a shot in the thirds and if it matures into something, we all know the odds, you know, that's amazing. If it doesn't, you haven't really lost a lot of rookie value, have you? That's okay. But he's a player that gives you that shot to the moon we talked about with Pittman. I think Pittman is an all-round, much more, a better talent an all-round, more heart kind of guy that I like. But I like at this value for this player, at that price, I'll take some shots at him, definitely. And that's, that's what you want. That's a, a player there, right there, that we're now beyond the first tier and the second tier. We're now into the third tier kind of guys. I really like him. And I, I got a feeling he could do better than many, many people think. And, and I won't be surprised. Some pro teams are eyeing him up and thinking, this is a guy that could fit our system. Because he is going to be that kind of, galvanizing player you know you might he might not you might look at some teams and think well it never worked there and I would agree but there are some teams where you think wow what an opportunity so no, where I'm, would that I, be someone like well what I'll, tell you, hoping I'll, tell you, draft him? I'll tell you where I think he could go and then we'll all be looking at this differently Baltimore Ravens working opposite Mr. Marquis Brown would be a very interesting place for him for a number of reasons uh, and, I mean they've got, they've got Andrews they've got Boykin and I think Willie yeah. Sneed's still there as well. I'm not sure. But, but you see a talent... I'm not can, saying Willie Sneed's going to keep yeah. anyone out, but... Well, you, you see a talent like this and you know what you're trying... You know, we just talked about Michael Pittman sneaking off the deep defenders. If you haven't seen that video, go and have a look at it. Um, and you've got a guy like this with these physical metrics, this ability to go get the ball. Got Paige coming into the screen. Maybe we'll bring her in. No, you don't want to come in. That's all right. You sit there and you smile. That's good because this is what to smile for. Um, but he... He really is something something special. And I think in the right fit, I can see him do really well in Baltimore because he can do things that will help your running game, your quarterback out. Um, I think you've got a player like this that you can... There's a few interesting wide receiver screens that you can uh, chuck in there for him. Yeah, he'd do a lot of boss in there um, and could develop into a very, very good player. And I really like his opportunity in the NFL. I can see a player, I can see a niche for him, and I can see a lot of teams liking what they see on the tape. So... He will surprise a lot of people. He, he is somebody I will now watch with interest, I must admit, to see where he lands and, and, and when they take him as well, to see how sort of high they... they we it. could be looking at the other side. It's like a lot of these guys. We could look beyond... Once the draft has landed out, we could look at it and we could be saying, disappeared, right? But I have a funny feeling. It's, it's the usual story with this. We'll look back in a few weeks and his value will start climbing. And that's, you have got like, a sort of sixth sense for this sort of thing, so it is a bit and weird. He will climb. I really do believe he will climb. And... Um, There'll be others that will switch on to him because he, he does do some pretty special things. He's always been high on my ball. He's been high on my ball for a long time. I've been delighted that people haven't seen it. I'm happy to talk about it now. It doesn't bother me now. I took shares where I can so far. Well, I'm happy if he climbs because, you know, that's the way life is. All right. Okay. Well, if you were uh, Anthony Golden Gandhi, if you're a fan, you know, uh, well, give us a thumbs up anyway if you've enjoyed the video. Um, subscribe for more and uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll see, see you, you the next time. one.